Tom, thanks so much. Today we got details on what happened with Pine Bluff's water last week. Liberty Utilities submitted a 104-page report to the Arkansas Public Service Commission about exactly what happened, detailing the day water pressure failed and how they reacted. THP 11's Jay Jackson is going on day five down in Pine Bluff to break down reaction to that report. You look around Pine Bluff today and it's hard to believe that it was this time last week that a winter storm caused so much damage to the water. In fact, it's only because of remnants like this that you're reminded of that storm. And it's also a reminder that there might be an even bigger storm coming. I think the attorney general is just doing her job to make sure that our city is getting good service. She's looking out for her communities and that's what a good attorney general does. Pine Bluff Mayor Shirley Washington says Liberty Utilities has made strides in progress for the water crisis. One of the things that they said that they're going to do is to begin to invest in our infrastructure. You know, that's uh, one of those things that we'll have to see as we move forward. Liberty's latest update says they're donating $250,000 to help people all around Jefferson County. They say the 252 leaks and breaks they found aren't on their system, but instead are on pipes in local homes and businesses. So they're taking care of costs for repairing and replacing. This comes after they submitted a 104 page report to the Public Service Commission. They tell THV 11 they filed at the request of the commission and were happy to do so. Their primary focus, however, remains on restoring full water service to the Pine Bluff community. And so far, Washington says things are getting done. Water pressures are going up at all plants, plant one, plant two, and plant three. So we're getting back to normal rates. Jade Jackson, THV 11 News. And the Public Service Commission tells us they're currently reviewing all of the documents. The Attorney General's Office says they are working with the Commission to determine the next steps.